which is what I was coming to. But why do you think that there are very few success stories from our region? From? Our region, from the northeastern region. Why do you think that there is a dearth of success stories from the region? First thing in SMS people, and they're very, <laughs> they don't want, don't want to do very hard work or anything like that. They're very nice people. They do not steal anything. They do not do anything bad. But they do not do anything else also. <laughs> yeah, you're saying that the Assamese uh, people are by and large. Uh, they're good people. They're, they're good, good people. Very good people. But they are, people, but they are, they are not bad. capable of doing anything. No, I wouldn't say they are not capable. Anybody who has gone out of Assam, even if they've gone to uh, Calcutta or you go to Delhi, and they go to the top. If they keep on staying in Assam, mm. uh, they will be very happy actually, very nice. And all the young boys are very happy just drinking alcohol, <laughs> that's all, that kind of thing. Are you saying that alcoholism is the bane of the youth of Assam? No, I will say that in Assam, it is the parents and the mothers and all that, they are, the, uh, um, they are responsible for that. I'll give you examples that um, two or three boys, I wanted to uh, have them in my company. And uh, the parents said that I'll be very happy that you uh, give them a job, etc., etc. And I was very happy to do that because they're good boys. But then the parents said, but I want them to work in Jorhat. I want them to work in <laughs> my house, you know, that kind of thing. Mm. I personally think that so what is, what is lacking? Ambition is lacking? Hard uh, work is lacking? No, I think it is a peculiar love from the parents and <laughs> mother or thing that they want the son right. there. Not about the daughter. Actually, they are very happy. Let the daughter get married. <laughs> Let them go wherever they want to go. But it is overprotection for the son. Yeah, it you just pointed out, you know, that there is a certain difference in attitude towards the son and from the attitude towards the daughter. You said, you know, they will allow the daughter to go away. Which brings me to a pert very pertinent question which is being discussed on all television stations and debated across the country, which is about the status of women in India. You've heard about the recent gang rape on the streets of Delhi. And uh, there was definitely a time where in Assam one couldn't one couldn't point a finger at all and say that the status of women was inferior. But today we find that there is a lot of growing crime against women in our society in Assam as well and in the Northeast, which is peculiar from the, the way traditionally Assamese society was, where women were very, very highly respected. Why do you think this deterioration in our society? I will say is that uh, when it comes to Assam, uh, there are no such things. No such things. It's only in other places now, Delhi, maybe in Calcutta, very little in Calcutta. Uh, that this, about these girls and all that, killing them and all that. I, I don't really understand. Maybe uh, some of these girls are also being, uh, had become naughty, you know, sort of. I, I find younger girls nowadays, they drink and all that. And that kind of thing sort of happens. Not that I'm... I know everyone about that, what I read about it, and let's say I've got a friend, he, when he tells me that this is what has happened and all that. Right. You are saying that women can sometimes be responsible for uh, what happens to them. Is that what you are saying? Yes. Now tell me, uh, young girls, now uh, today, let's say in the last, last five years or ten years, they, uh, they, they're very young girls educated, good looking, but they also have started drinking alcohol, in my opinion. And very young girl, so 18 years old, 17 years old, and the parents allowed them to do that. And then this thing uh, happened and some of the rascals also do that. That's, if you see that now, a lot of these girls are being killed. Well, it's been an interesting interview. We will unravel more with Himin Barua when we return after the break.